Okay, so good afternoon everyone. The time is now 2 p.m. We're meeting for our weekly business meeting. Uh, attending by phone is Commissioner Leslie Duncan and physically present are Commissioners Brooks and Filios. The first item is Pledge of Allegiance. Kathy, would you lead us please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hmm. Okay then, so the first item is the consent calendar. Do we have a motion? Go ahead. I'll move that we approve the consent calendar. Uh, did, are you seconded? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And Leslie, you can move some of these things too if you'd like, <laughs> okay? I'm Tina? sorry, I was just writing Jelena down. Okay. Uh, Bill Burks? Aye. Aye. Commissioner Dodge? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. Motion carried. Next item is the payables, payables list. list. Bill, you want to take that? Okay. I would move that we approve the payables for the week of May 6th through 10th, 2019, in the amount of $769,000 and $4.46 with no uh, uh, jury, panel. jury panel payments. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. Motion carried. Do we have any changes to the agenda? Eight. I'm I sorry. Think number eight is removed. Okay, <laughs> so can we have a motion then to remove item eight? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I move that we remove item eight from the consent calendar. Second. Second. I'd second the motion. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. Motion carried. So item number one, public hearing, fiscal 2020 program of projects for public transportation resource management office. Kim, would that be you? That would be me. Um, this is our 5307 funds. We're required to publish our program of projects. We've had a 30-day comment period. We've received no comments, so this is a public hearing. Okay. Seeing that there is no one else here to testify for or against, is that correct? So then, do I have a motion to exit public hearing and enter into deliberations? I would make uh, a motion that we exit the public hearing on FY 2020 program and projects uh, and uh, Public Transportation slash Resource Management Office and enter into deliberations. Okay. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. So any questions or concerns, anything anybody wishes to share? I'm fine. I'm good. Okay then, so am I. Do we have a motion? Go ahead. What we, I, just read, just read uh, item number one. Okay. Uh, I, you're, you're motioning to approve. I move that we approve the FY2020 program of, of project slash public transportation slash resource management office. A second. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. Motion carried. Item number two, we have a bid opening. 2019-09 surplus property for solid waste. And this is from a WD Beck. It is a sealed bid for number 3491, a 96 GMC. Is that what it is? Okay. And the bid again for number 3491, a 96 GMC from W.D. Beck, P.O. Box 207, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, $237.50. Can I have a motion to accept the one and only bid? 
I'd move that yes. we accept. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Leslie. I move that we accept the bid uh, as presented for legal and solid waste review. Second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Aye. Chairman Filio. Aye. Motion carried. Item number three. Rescind the 430, that is to say April 30th, 2019, Fison Crop Agreement, approving three new addendum agreements uh, sponsored by our buildings and grounds. Great, me. take it away. Um, uh, what I know of it, uh, the long contract was signed, so we just need to be updated. Okay, so today we're just rescinding, is that correct? And approving the uh, three addendums. And approving the three addendums, okay. Addendum. Addendum. <clears throat> Addendi, okay, <laughs> plural. Bill, you wanna do it? Sure, I uh, move that we rescind the 430 uh, slash 19 Thyssen Krupp agreement and approve three new uh, addenda uh, agreements uh, to the Thyssen Krupp building slash building and grounds. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. Motion carried. Item number four, change orders number six and number nine for the Riverstone Transit Center. Kim? Yes, this is uh, two change orders. The first is for uh, the monument sign and lighting, adding a flagpole. Um, the maximum amount for this will be $6,897. The other is for demo and reworking the um, tree receptacles to adapt to new construction and relocating of the existing trees. Both of these, um, of that one, the dollar amount is $4,595. So a combined amount of $11,492. I am currently negotiating the amounts on these, so it will not exceed this. The price will possibly go down, but we needed your approval to proceed with the work, because right now they cannot do these things until we get board approval. Okay, and is this in the budget? Yes. Okay. Questions? No. Motion? I move that we approve the change orders number six and number nine on the Riverstone Transit Center. Do you want to add a not to exceed the Okay. Yeah, I, uh, Leslie, we're gonna we're just gonna amend the motion, uh, not to yeah. not not to exceed ten ten thousand dollars. No, or? it's eleven thousand four hundred ninety two dollars. Okay, yeah, eleven thousand four hundred ninety two dollars. Okay, you, yeah, you can second now. Bill Brooks, second. aye. Oh, okay, she seconded. She's, okay, Bill Brooks, aye. Uh, Commissioner Duncan, aye. Chairman Filios, aye. Motion carried. Okay, so item number five, agreement with Kootenai Health. Excuse me, can I ask just a question? Sure. Do I sound like that when I, when I call in? Do you, <laughs> no, 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 I want that. to know. Is it, because this is, this is not, no, doesn't do Leslie justice. Is, is well, that, you, is that you, how bad I sound when I call in? No, you. Mm -hmm. Well, then we need to fix it. Oh, okay. Everybody's that, nodding, Leslie, okay. so I guess they're saying that, that that's all. I just, that bill sounds equally bad. I don't think you sound bad, but, well, it, but I think the transmission is weak. Yeah, it's garbled. Anyway, I'm sorry. I oh, just oh, No, that's okay. Moving on. Moving on. I'm sorry. So, I apologize. We'll let Grant know. How's that? We, we have a good rhythm going, and I wrecked it. Right? Okay, that's all right. All right, item number five again. Uh, the agreement with Kootenai Health for Public Transportation, RMO. Kim? Yes, this is an agreement with Kootenai Health um, for non-emergency medical transport. Um, this is a four-year agreement. This is the first year, and there's an option to renew annually for each of the following three. Okay. Any change in cost or? This is basically we provide the vehicles. It's just for public transportation, and they provide the non-emergency medical transportation. Got it. Okay. Questions? Concerns? Uh, my only question is, do we normally have legal review these kinds of agreements? Yes, it was. It went through legal. Uh, okay. Uh, hold, hold, I just, now, go, uh, hold on, Leslie. I think we have an answer. Barb? Have reason. Did you hear that? Yes, thank you. 
Yeah, Pat Braden reviewed it. Okay. So, did you want to make this motion, Leslie? Um, sure. I move that we approve the agreement um, between Board of Commissioners and CUNY House for the public transportation. Um. That's fine. That's good. I second it. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filius? Aye. Motion carried. Item number six, a memorandum of agreement with the State Historic Preservation Office, RMO. Kim again? It's me again. Okay. So this is an agreement with um, the State Historic Preservation Office, and it's the funding for the camp agreement that you approved prior. So it's their eight, 2018 funding, and they will also um, provide the match. Okay. Understood. Questions, concerns? Uh, the $8,000 match, that's uh, in kind with uh, our labor, is that right? No, it's actually the State Historic Preservation Office is providing the match. So it's their, they're providing the $8,000 match and the $8,000 funding. So is they, go ahead, Leslie. There's no cost to the county. Okay. No, so the 8000 that they're providing, is that in kind? Um, Plus the eight. It doesn't say. It just says that they're providing the the match. Let me find that portion of the agreement. Mm -hmm. I but but there's no cost to us, the county. It says. In matching federal funds, shall pay grantee eight thousand dollars in matching federal funds. <clears throat> so they're okay. So we're getting eight thousand in federal funding, and we're probably providing another eight in kind. Do you want me to read that portion, item five? Yeah, I'm just curious. It says Go grantee ahead. agrees to contribute cash or donated services to the project in the minimum total of eight thousand dollars, or to pay fifty percent of eligible project costs, whichever is less, upon verification of successful completion of the project by grantee, SHPO will, shall, shall pay grantee $8,000 in matching federal funds as outlined in the budget. So it does say that it's contribute cash or, or donate. donate. Or so, donate. It does, so, so it can be cash either, or in either kind. way. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm fine. Leslie, you okay? Yes. Okay, motion? Go ahead, Bill. I would make a motion that we approve the memorandum of agreement with the State Historic Preservation Office uh, bet uh, between them and the Resource Management Office. I'll second. Bill Brooks? Aye. Commissioner Duncan? Aye. Chairman Filios? Aye. Motion carried. Item number seven, copy or maintenance agreement for a driver's license uh, for the search and rescue building H&H &H Systems. Kootenai County Sheriff's Organization. Mike McFarland, Sheriff's Office. Yeah, these are both look like maintenance agreements for uh, one new copier and the, the other copier that's in driver's license. Okay. Any change in cost or any idea? I don't know. Okay. So we've had these agreements in the past, yeah. I presume? Yes. Okay. Any other questions or concerns? Motion. I move that we approve the copier maintenance agreement regarding driver's license and search and rescue building with H and H systems. Second the motion. Bill Brooks. Aye. Commissioner Duncan. Yes. Chairman Phillips. Aye. Motion carried. Yes, Barb. I have a correction to make. Go right ahead. Um, on the agreement with Kootenai Health, I apologize. I was on the wrong line. That was not reviewed by Pat Braden. It was sent to Barry uh, Black on the 9th, and I cannot verify that he has reviewed that yet. My records indicate that it was reviewed by him, but okay. by Barry Black. I don't know. I can't confirm that. Okay, so we'll, we'll find out. Yeah. At this moment. But. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, let's leave it on and just get the confirmation. If worse comes to worse, we're going to have to... What just go well, back? We already on. approved it. But well, we already approved it, but, but I want to get correct. You want to confirm? I got on the wrong okay, that's fine. You're on record. Okay. We're okay. Okay. Unless Dave has an issue. I'm just kind of scanning it now, and it doesn't seem to be a problem. But the board could always, right now, rescind approval and put it off to next week. If if you're really 
nervous about You're it. You're really nervous about it. I'm not. Kim, time sensitive? Well, it's, we've been waiting for a long time to get the information back from Kootenai Health, so it's already after the beginning of the agreement, but it's up to you. No, I'm fine. It's up to I'm fine. You. Just look into it, Barb, but I th I'm, I'm fine. Confirm. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Anything else? Public comment. Hearing none, 215, meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thanks, Leslie. Bye, Leslie.